In a regular electrical battery, a voltage difference is produced between the two battery terminals. For modern batteries, such as those in cell phones and computers, lithium flows from the negative to positive terminals. In contrast, in a thermal battery, a temperature difference is produced between the two sides of the battery. In this thermal battery demonstration, hydrogen gas flows from one side to the other when the battery is discharged. One side will release hydrogen and cool, while the other side absorbs hydrogen and heats. Hydrogen is stored in the two sides of the battery in metal alloys that react with hydrogen to form compounds called metal hydrides. When fully charged, the hydrogen is contained on the cold side. When the battery is discharged, the metal hydride on the cold side decomposes, releasing hydrogen gas, absorbing heat, and cooling the cold side. Hydrogen flows to the hot side where it reacts, forming a metal hydride, generating heat and heating the hot side. The thermal battery discharges automatically when a valve between the hot side and the cold side is opened. The thermal battery can be recharged by heating the hot side to drive the hydrogen gas back to the cold side. In this video demonstration, a small droplet of water is placed on the cooling paddle to show temperature drop when the hydrogen is released. The motivation for our work was heating and cooling for electric vehicles. Other applications could take advantage of the unique features of thermal batteries. Rapid cooling within seconds. No moving parts, shock and vibration resistant. Quiet, no acoustic signature. And small scale, less than one cubic millimeter. <laughs>